Let's calculate the yield to maturity for a zero coupon bond. So for the zero coupon bond, we have a timeline with no periodic coupon payments because coupon rate is 0%. Um, and so we're left with just a single par value repayment at maturity. And so that's going to be a $1,000 repayment. And so when, that, when is that going to happen? So we've got 12 years remaining to maturity, and we're going to think about this problem as a semi-annual uh, periodic problem. And so we have 24 six-month periods on the timeline, and there's our single cash flow of $1,000 at maturity. The other piece of information we have here is the price, and so that's the same thing as the present value of all promised future cash flows. And so here uh, we simply have a present value of a single cash flow problem. And so present value is 575. And the formula for the present value of a future cash flow is as follows uh, the, the, the single cash flow in the numerator, one plus the discount rate raised to the number of periods, or 24. It goes in the denominator, and so that R is going to get us to our yield to maturity. And so that's what we need to solve for. I can do this algebraically by manipulating each side of this equation. Okay, so there I have this, and then I need to get rid of the exponent. And so the way I do that algebraically, raise both sides to the 1 24th power. If I did that, I would end up with 1 plus r on the left, um, and whatever this uh, number is on the right, and then subtract 1, and I would get to r. So with my calculator, um, I could, uh, starting here on the right side, I can say $1,000 divide by 575. What is that? that? That is this number here. I'm going to raise it to the 124th power. So y to the x, open parentheses, 1 divided by 24, close parentheses, equals, so it's 1.0233. So that's 1 plus r. So what's r? r is 2.33%. Alternatively, I could say... Um, $1,000 is FV in a financial calculator, 24 is N, 575 is PV, that's going to be negative, this is going to be positive, and then PMT is 0, and then solve for I. So 1,000 goes into FV, 57. Five negative goes into PV. Twenty four goes into N. Uh, zero goes into payment. Compute I, and there I have my two point three three. Now one last little note: um, I ask you uh, typically to present these as annualized rates. Note that that. 2.33% is a semi-annual R, so for the final answer, I need to double that number.